Greetings and welcome back to Factorio 0.15. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am so excited. This is my first playthrough on 0.15, which came out today. Um, so I was having a think about the uh, orientation of stuff and I'm thinking I would like to have our main bus go this away. Get smelting, maybe set up here, and then have the main bus go out here. Uh, so what I want to do first is I want to pick up these um, the, the labs and the stuff here because why I have it next to the steam engines. There's no real point to this because all the materials that I'm going to feed it with are actually going to be down over there. So I think I'm going to string power lines. And by the way, um, I in between episodes, while I was rendering my episode and the first one, and um, of course, um, also uh, I was reading the patch notes as I was doing this, you know, the final patch notes for 0 0.15, and uh, there were all kinds of awesome things I need to tell you guys about. So I hope to do so as we are going along. And uh, let's see, where should we put this thing? Let's put... Maybe put our lab set up here-ish for now, or maybe put it, it could be randomly anywhere. It doesn't have to be somewhere specific. Let's put it here for now. Okay, let's get this guy here. And this one wants to be, is it not there? Come on. It's okay. You can do it thing. Um, anyway, I'm just so, so, so excited uh, because there's a lot of wonderful quality of life changes that I'm not even using at the moment. I don't even know why. Um, but I will hopefully show you those as we go along. Uh, let's get that sorted. We need the box back. There's our box and we'll put in these items so that we can start processing stuff real quick. Okay. This is actually much better, so I don't have to keep running all the way up there every single time. All right, let's get these guys going. And we have plenty of stones. So we don't need that. I would like to make another... Well, that's right. I was going to get the electric mining drill uh, and basically shove coal up that direction for those things. But one of the cool, exciting things was I visited one of my other saves... And guess what I found? I found a blueprint. Or actually, I created a blueprint because I didn't have it. I was on, I was on the, um, the whatchamacallit save, the the, uh, the Belt Diva save. Um, and if you press B, you can get your global blueprint thing. And guess what I got? I got a thing. So yes, you can do this. Whoops, not that. We want to rotate. Aha. So now I've got the early game set up for furnaces right here. This is so fantastically fun and amazing. Um, just to have this here, I think I'm going to put it right here. And even though I don't have robots yet, I can plan it out so that we can just use it. So I, I'm loving this thing. I really love it. Uh, it's, it's just like a dream come true. What do we have? Oh, is there water there? Oh my gosh. I don't want water here. I want my bus to be here. What the heck? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what else we can do? We can get a deconstruction planner, which I will put right there. Uh, darn it. Okay, so the bus is not going to go this way off into the world. I think I'm going to have it go downward, possibly. Let's have our initial setup here, but let's get rid of this whole area first because <laughs> clearly this ain't the way it's going to go. All right. So let's just place this down. And what is, this is going to be is it's going to be a um, kind of like just placeholders so that we can follow this and not. Uh, obviously, we don't have early game robots in this. Uh, the in 0 0.15. I'm kind of sad about that. But on the other hand, it does give us reason to use um, Nexla's nanobots mod. So um that's always a good thing. Let's get rid of this rock and replace the blueprint here. Man, I'm just still like marveling over, you know, when mining a when mining starts on a train, you will not mine the track underneath. <laughs> I'm like, yay! Such nice quality of life fixes. Such just delightfulness. All right, let's get this going. Um, I'm too far. Ah, long reach, not existing. All right, uh, let's get our lab sorted out. Um, need two of these and whoops. Okay, let's get, 
probably optics are good because you guys are going to want to see stuff, right? <laughs> okay, let's get some coal fed into these machines here. And there we are. Plenty of these. Um, so yeah, I do need to get some actual mining happening at the moment. Uh, let's put this first one here. I'm going to get these belts going along. Oopsie. Wow, these belts look so crispy and sharp, I have to say. They're like really interesting. Like even from far off, they look very funky to me. Um, funky in a good way, in a good way. It's the HD graphics. Oh, the other thing is if there are unpowered entities under the power poles, which are dragging, it will put one if there's uh, where there is an unpowered entity, which I thought is like awesome. <laughs> it's just like nice. So, all right, our mining drills are now working. You can control so many new things. Like you can control mining drills with the circuit network now. You can tell um, train stops to get ignored by the circuit network, which is gonna make a lot of those smart trains type mods a lot easier, um, or maybe even without the need for a mod, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, right, so let's get this going. I think I would love to make a another assembly machine. You know what? I need an assembly machine for belts. What am I doing? Like crafting belts in my inventory? What's wrong with me? Hello. No, don't, 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 don't give up on me, brain. I promise. I've played this game before, maybe once or twice. I need call, uh, copper, copper, copper. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, gonna set up some uh, quick things for when we need. Oh my gosh, we need that too. We need everything, guys. We need every single thing. Get all of those made. Right, so let's put down another thing here. You can actually be making belts. Need an inserter. And we'll need another inserter. We need more inserters. And I don't have any copper again. Come on, copper. I need you. I need you. Uh, lasers or no turrets are good i'm kind of excited about this like no uh biters recolonization thing i think that sounds really funky um no i need inserters there we go is this a copper issue again all right i'm gonna have to make another mine for copper i think miner and miner for the copper I could make an electric miner, maybe. If I had enough plate. I don't have I don't have anything. I have nothing. I've neither. Come on. Okay, let's get a couple more inserters and we'll fill these guys with coal. Boom. So now this is gonna go uh, that away. There we are. Belts are going to be made. We're going to unlimit them for now. Why are... What do you need? Oh, you need plates as well? Okay. I can give you plates. I'm going to need more wood. Nice. And... Alright. Um, let's get some wood. For boxes, power poles, all kinds of stuff. I love the yellow desert. Yay! Oh, and I ran out of stuff. Drat. Um, I'm going to steal some iron. Oh, I can't steal it. <laughs> I have been spoiled, guys. I've gotten so used to long reach. This is just not even funny. Um, it's very sad. I knew that it would be hard to go back to vanilla. I, I did know that. But still... The, the transition is like, oh no. Oh no. Okay, and the other thing is I can put another machine here. Actually, I could put it here to make more gears. And also, oh, by the way, pressing Q gives us an eyedropper tool like 
uh, picker extended by one of our favorite mod makers, Nexala. Um, so that's definitely a possibility. Um, what else do we need? I think... Let's make another box. I want to have a box of gears. But I don't know which... Actually, you can come this way, power pole. Uh, but we do need more iron. Need lots of iron. And this one is tuned well, actually, for using some of the gears over there. That's not great. Um, I'm going to take that off. And we'll have maybe two assemblers making science packs. But we do need another lab. Okay, let's put this guy... I need this here. But I need more inserters. Okay. Off to Copperland. Here we go. Oh, and I can make lights now, too. Okay. Electronics. Yeah, we'll have that. And, well, we've got the coal building up a little bit. Which is always a good thing. All right, we've got some iron gear wheels. We've got belts being made. Okay, we definitely need more of this in here. And you guys are just making this fully. That's nice. All right, let's get some of these um, things going on. We're just going to take this belt all the way up. Oh, I could have actually tapped that coal, coal mine up here. It's probably closer. Well, I'm not that bothered. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Is this, uh... Okay, this is just... I, want, I only want one stack of gears as well. I don't want, like, a million of them. All right, let's let our factory keep on working. Our tiny little factory. Yeah, we're going to have to start smelting pretty soon, I think. Um, I'm wondering. Oh, this is a lamp? Whoa, they look very bright. Okay. I'm going to miss my colors. Somebody made a mod that added extra colors to all the lamps and stuff. And so it was like really cool to, um, to see those. Wait, I need uh, more power poles. Oh, gosh. What are we missing now? Wood. Oh, we're short on wood. All right. That's okay. We'll get it see and no um, upgrade planner for the trees oh I I have been enjoying my modded games I will admit I at first I was a complete purist um, and that was based on experiences I've had on other games where you know you would download a mod and then five seconds later it would break or it would screw up your game or whatever um, or it wouldn't be updated with new versions but Factorio modding has been really an interesting journey um, where the mods and the mod makers are quite skilled I think generally so um, it's been a lot of fun to test out new things and stuff like that so I, I like my mods though I do like vanilla as well I like all the things at this point so, um, yeah, if you guys have favorite mods that you'd like to see me play in another series, this is going to be completely vanilla, this series, but I will be playing modded once a lot of the mods get updated. I know that many, many people have asked me to play Angels, um, Pet or Angels, Ores, and Petrochem with Bob's mods, uh, so that's on my list. If there are other mods that you'd like to see played, do let me know. Um, I'm planning a Yuoki playthrough as well because I absolutely adore that mod. Um, and I can't wait to see what Yuoki has in store for us in 0.15. Um, but anyway, so yeah, if you have any really interesting suggestions, I'd love to hear them because I'm, I'm adventurous. I like to try new things. I like to figure out stuff and, and uh, do, do cool stuff. So, yep, anything you'd like to see, I will be game for hearing about it. All right, so we've got more iron. <laughs> we have iron, yay. All right, here you can have some plates. There you go. I still have an iron. I have one iron stick. Okay, I can't believe that iron sticks weren't removed from the game. That's a little bit, like, why do we even have, oh, it needs two. Oh, geez. 
I needed to build another lamp, which is what I didn't build. All right, I need actually some copper for that. Come on, copper. I want you. But yeah, I love that you can put down uh, blueprints in the early game, uh, even without blueprint books or robots or whatever. Now, is this... Oh, it's going... Oh, it's prioritizing the chest. Well, there's a way we can fix this, I think. This should work. Uh, we can move this to this. Let's see if that works. Come on. Make it. Yes. Okay, so this is a... The long-handed is slightly faster. Oh, no, it didn't work that time. What? I Maybe it's, like, giving it turns. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'm going to take this off for now. So, well, I thought it should work that way, but apparently it's not working as well as I want it to. These are, are these gears that expensive? Four iron plates? No wonder. They used to take two, but I'm wondering if that's the, um, the more expensive tech, uh, thing or not tech, but more expensive items thing. All right, let's go up here. All right. Wow. This is a lot of belt. Very odd to me that the uh, the lakes are so far, but eh, it's just a cool map though. I think once we get going on it, it'll be just fine. We'll have the main bus maybe going downward this way. I could go through those trees, but I like the desert. I just love the way the yellow looks underneath. I, I find it really pretty to look at. Ah, yes, and I was gonna get something for you. Excuse me. Oh my God, I don't want that much stone. Oh, whoops. You're going to make... Guess what you're going to make? You're going to make stuff. This stuff. This is one of the tricks I found um, that I, I was I saw on the, um, the community map. This is awesome. Um, basically, people were... And I forget whose idea this was, but it's just brilliant. I like it. Uh, just setting that up. And apparently with four miners around this, and I think they were electric miners, uh, not burners, but with four of them around, you could literally just keep this running non-stop, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so I'm going to have this, uh, wait, why is it not going? Why are you not going? Okay, this one, oh, that's why. Okay, so it doesn't work if you put the, a box there because basically the miners are force feeding this thing. So uh, if you put the miner there, it will work. Give you some stuff. Uh, and they were using electric miners, but at the moment I just don't have any. Okay, let's make some... What do we need? We need belts, probably. Do you have enough? Oh, you don't have enough iron. Okay, well, let's fix that. How are you doing? You don't have enough iron either. That's sad. All right, here, take some more of that iron. I'm going to get these belts going up here. Do I have enough to make burner inserters? Of course not. Um, well, let's get the belts up in any case and see. Okay, we'll see the edge of the lake there. Aha, yes, we have to cut down some trees. Good. Can use wood. Can definitely use a wood. Wait. Oh, yeah, we can't cross there. Um, steel processing. We'll take that. Can we go here? We might be able to go here. That could be a really good option if we make underground belts. Yeah, I'm thinking... Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to try to go this way. Underground and underground that way. And we'll save ourselves on some belts, I think. Oh, the glowiness of uranium. kind of feels dangerous, though. As I'm walking about, it's like, okay, there's radioactive stuff over there. Uh-huh. Yep. It's a thing. Happens. see. Come on. All right. And we're getting some more iron. Got to get, keep research going a little bit. Hmm. Go down here and get some more copper. We have a ton of coal. Kind of wondering if I should just, if I should just take those couple of miners out and put them 
for here. Hmm. So how many furnaces has it made while I've been gone? 21. That's pretty good. I can handle that. Oh, let me give it the extra stone. So I do not need all this stuff for sure. All right. Aha, I can make two of these. Okay, I'll, while that's happening, I will take the rest of the belt upward because we're going to have more belt. You know we're going to have more. There we go. Nice. Oh, and can we build undergrounds? Oh, no. We need... Oh, darn. We need actual plates for that. Okay. I didn't realize. We will need two undergrounds. Aha! We have two undergrounds. That is nice. All right. Let's see if we can get this going a little bit better. We'll have this going like how this is just going to be a very temporary situation guys okay and then this will go to here like this i just want to build something that's reusable there we go okay and i can put in coal there and then we're going to do something very similar over here. All right. Oh, wait, can't do that. Uh -huh. There we go. Nice. Perfect. That's what we want. Okay, good. Now, undergrounds. We got our two, I believe. Okay, two sets. And we're gonna need um, a few inserters. Let's make two of them or five of them, whatever. Um. Let's get this to go. Oh my god, we can! We can do it! Yay! Alright. We can make it go further. But I'll have to be over there to do it. Okay. Let's put that one there. Right. We'll go around here. And we'll get stuff happening. Yes! So let's get our burner inserters lined up here. I think they can just go anywhere. Let's put them in the middle for now. Okay, how are we going? Is this working? Yes, the burner inserters are working. Wow, look at how fast that uses up coal, like almost instant. The poor burner, the poor inserter can't even keep up. Jeez Louise, that's pretty rough. Wow, and it was just in time because these two last ones ran out as well. All right, let's build, let's see, one, two, three, four. We need four more. One, two, three, four. Um, and we'll get this going to the end here. Now, there are a couple of different uh, steam engine designs that are interesting. We could do it this way or we could make it a little bit more compact. Um, and instead of having this here, I could put it... Uh, wait, let's get our inserters and make sure that we have enough space. One, two, three, and four. Boom. And I've seen there are some designs. Let's go in like this. And you'd have two in a line like that, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if you can put power poles between them. That would be my question. Um, yeah, we'll try this for now. But I think they need, may need some additional spacing between each of the boilers to um, to get working. How much power are we using? Okay, only a quarter of the power so far. That's just fine. Looks like we have uh, finally we got that sorted out. So now we can get to the real business of getting our factory sorted out uh, and getting our uh, smelting going. But that is going to have to wait until the next episode because, alas, I have run out of time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. 
and I'll see you next time.